Hello and welcome back to On The Shelf Gaming, the only show on the internet home to future Hall of Famer, Crandon. Shh, talking. Oh wait, never mind, yeah. that was just Byron Saxton, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn, something about Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, who are neither of whom are um, a fucking prayer against our guy. Not at all. Oh, apparently Roman's gone to Hollywood. Yeah, so someone's got to pick up that title. I wonder who could do such a thing. Don't worry, on the shelf gaming, we put our chip in. We got our guy. <laughs> No pressure on him, but uh, I did put literally all the money we've ever earned on him to win, so <laughs> it will bankrupt the company. General Manager of the Miz didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt. That's the thing he says. Since when is fucking the Miz GM? Ah. <laughs> we haven't watched WWE TV in a couple of years, at least. You know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight? Ah, uh, what do you want to bet? We're question mark, question mark, question mark. I have a funny feeling. <laughs> God, sorry, Kevin Owens, but <laughs> we gotta, you gotta stomp on your dreams. Yeah, that's fine. He's been a champion before. Yeah, he's used to having his dreams crushed. WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time, and Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. Damn, Cody Rose Rose versus Drew McIntyre. It's on free TV. <laughs> William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. This is literally in the video game, and every line is just like three seconds further away from the past line than it should be. Yeah. It's like you could put those things together a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Stop staring at that, Byron. Was saying, did we need Byron Saxon to stare into my soul for 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> Hell yeah, fucking Roman Reigns. Who cares about that guy? He's gone. He's in Hollywood where he belongs. Away from the domination that's about to be unleashed. There he There's is. There's boy. There's our boy, Crandon. And also William Regal. Yeah. Hey, if he's being trained by William Regal, then I think that means Cranon could just beat any of us in a fight. Coming in early to help the ring. Oh man, remember how Cranon sounds exactly like that in real life? <laughs> one to one to me. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? I mean, <laughs> do you do your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, <laughs> Damn, Crane got some fucking lip on him. <laughs> I know the math teacher that he's talking about, too. <laughs> was he an asshole? Yeah, she was. Oh, there you fucking go. <laughs> Crandon, as fucking always, knows exactly what he's talking about at all times. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I think Crandon's ready. Well, yeah, I'm not ready. We better hope Crandon's ready, because uh, I also put up my apartment as collateral, and that's not going to go over well with my landlord. <laughs> so, I'm going to be in some hot water if he fucks this up. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor yeah. is you. Oh, thank God. Easy win. <laughs> Fucking Crandon could snap Dominic in half. Good man. I'll do my best. Didn't we just have this conversation? <laughs> You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. <gasps> Damn. Horse. I wish William Regal would call me his boy. Oh, same. How's Crandon get all the cool stuff happen to him? <laughs> he gets to run the ropes, compete at SummerSlam for the WWE Championship. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got a bunch of fucking nothing going on in my life. God, tell me about it. All I'm doing is sitting here on YouTube playing a fucking <laughs> video game, watching my bro Crandon get all the fucking experience. The real Dark Horse is not Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Come on now. Hell yeah. 
Damn. Typical Crandon. Always glued to Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you write, you write, though. You won't see Crandon getting banned on Twitter. No. Not like sacred, and he'll never come back. Yeah. Don't check the description of this video. <laughs> Alright, Crandon. Time to start making some fucking moves by talking to... Troy. Troy Skipton. Or... Oh, it's a fucking thing! I forgot already! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> God, I love it! Uh, Let's talk to the Miz. He's the an actual Miz. person. Well, look who it is. It isn't SummerSlam's dark horse. He looks really weird with a suit on. He does. Uh, nickname is Sticking. Good times. Actually, I prefer Stunning. <laughs> Good times is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title. Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? Nah, that's Don't stupid. Qualify. <laughs> Fuck William William Regal. Some kind of vote of confidence? Come on. I mean... Don't be naive. Unless you think that he specifically wants Dominic to have an easy win. All his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what. The draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic. Maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, I honestly see Craven as a SmackDown guy. Why would you want me? But a Miz SmackDown guy? Okay, admittedly, I, I don't know about a Miz SmackDown just in general. On my show. Where it belongs, and I am one hundred percent sure KO will beat you. Yeah. See. <laughs> All right. What would Crandon say to the Miz, <laughs> who's confident that he will be beaten up by Kevin Owens? He probably doesn't leave, so I don't know that either <laughs> of these will work. But he's not going to say you inspired me. No, he's going to say not a freaking chance, down. buddy. Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just. And I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. Okay. That? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails. <laughs> Hell yeah. Than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. Crandon's got him fucking pegged. <laughs> Classic Crandon with his fucking dry humor. This just right. tearing people down <laughs> limb by limb. You? That's what I regret. Got him. Ruthless. I knew it was a smart decision to send him in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too much of a people pleaser, and you're too much of a people unpleaser. Yeah. He challenges at all the right times. Full-fledged producer. Uh, Troy, we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. He wouldn't let me borrow his toothbrush. God damn, what does Troy have that Eric doesn't? Crane and toothbrush. <laughs> These situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire. Whoa! Our so attire be doing that. is perfect. I, yeah, I know how these things work. I know how these things. Oh, apparently we've just been on Raw for a while. Damn. Okay. Here I thought we were new. Just trying to be helpful. Maybe we've been like a local guy or like a house show guy. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know. That we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Thank Why you. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, <laughs> good luck. Why does everybody think Cranon can't do anything? <laughs> Cranon is capable as fuck. Look at this man. This man's a beast. Yeah, and we got five upgrade points already. Hell yeah. We're gonna be even beastier. Let's go ahead and just make him better at shit real quick. Okay, but but what is his his big thing? Just a little bit of everything? That's that's fair, since it's all cost one currently. Yeah. Let's put his uh, resilience up over his defense. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean I've never I've never seen like Crandon put his guard up or anything. No, like... Crandon takes his licks and keeps going. Yeah. That's just the kind of man he is. God, I wish I was Crandon. God, it'd be so easy if my life was Crandon. God. It's really not fair that Crandon gets to be Crandon and we're stuck just being fucking us. Yeah, we're stuck pretending to be a Crandon. <laughs> trying to live vicariously. <laughs> Living our dream of being pro wrestlers through Crandon. Yeah. Here he comes. Don't forget to follow Crandon at a Becky on Twitter. <laughs> 
Hell yeah! God. God, stunning is an understatement. <laughs> uh, calm down, announcers. He'll make it. He may not be in it yet, but he's still my favorite to win the whole damn thing. Hell yeah. You can put him in a gala match against all those other guys that were in the fucking tournament. Right Kevin now. Owens, Cody Rhodes. Six other guys I don't remember. God, no, we're going to fucking... Crane is going to crush. Man. How many of these people out in the crowd do you think Cranon is their number one favorite wrestler of all time? Let's see. See everyone on the entire upper section? Yeah. All those guys. God damn. Bare minimum. Those are the smart people. They didn't spend $10,000 for these seats. Right, yeah. All the Dominic Mysterio fans are sitting up front <laughs> because they're <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's not taking a current seriously. He's in a fucking flannel. Damn. I'd be afraid if that guy walked into my gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I forget that the Judgment Day is still a stable. Is it? Yeah. They've, they've lasted so long compared <laughs> to stables that run the show. They usually disband after like a year. Oh, I'm sure he's pissed, because he knows he's now lost his fucking shot. Oh, yeah. Because there's no way he's beaten Crandon. He might have beaten all those other guys. But Crandon? Yeah. That's something I don't think so. And also, he's Dominic, so he probably wouldn't have beaten all those other guys. Man, Dominic really needs to cut his hair. <laughs> he's just got... I'm sure, and le like we said, we haven't watched that much wrestling lately, but like, Dominic is my least favorite thing to come out of wrestling in a little while, right. other than like the horrible, awful crimes that were revealed a little <laughs> while back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I like, I like, you know, like, talent-wise, he's fucking great. You know, he's Rey Mysterio's kid, he's been training fucking forever, so like, he's solid in the ring. And, like, he's got the charisma. I just don't think he's got the look. Oh, well, that's for sure. And I know that's, like, by design. Right. He's he's supposed to look like that. He's supposed to be, like, a punk. <laughs> for, like, for sure. But, like, at least cut the hair. The, the Basically, a mullet was, like, kind of charming when he was still with Rey. And he was just the Mysterio's baby boy. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was almost <laughs> charming. But now that he's supposed to be, like, well, he's kind of on his own. He's with Rhea and Judgment Day. But, like, I don't Damn. know. Something about it just doesn't work for me. God. Look, look at Crane and slaughter him. Crane yeah. agrees. He should cut his hair. <laughs> God, why is this not a hair versus hair match? <laughs> we can help Dominic out big time on our way to the WWE Undisputed Championship of the World. Damn. Boom! Unfucking touchable! Let's take a second ah. to show the people what we're about. The people. And now back to our regular scheduled beatdown. Hell yeah. God. I can't believe they can show this kind of brutality on live TV. He was over the brain. He wasn't under the rope. Shut up. Man, you think we'll get to be a special guest referee in the story mode? I hope so. I do too. Because, like, they added all that stuff. Like, surely in the story modes, there's going to be, like, an ambulance match and a casket match. Of course, oh, yeah. maybe not in this one because there's the girl story mode too, but. Right, yeah. They got to do stuff. Well, from what it, like what critics were saying, apparently the the girl story mode is the one that got like most of the shit this time. Ah, uh, I mean it makes sense because we Sacred and I did play last year's. Yeah, we played the lock um, and, and a little bit of the legacy. Right, and like the lock, I didn't, we didn't finish the legacy, so maybe it got way better. But the lock really felt like it got the work, and not because it was so good, just because it had more like going on. Bam. He's stunned by stunning Crandon Smith. And now he's stunned even more even stunned. <laughs> Is that what you call him, stunning? Uh, well, I was literally just going to call him Stone Cold. 
<laughs> but it's not an option. They only had stone. So I was like, shit, backup option. It's gonna... <laughs> Hell yeah, Crandon, fucking soak it in, bro. God fucking damn. Dom I don't think Dominic got any offense in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't recall Dominic fucking touching you, so. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. God. At first, when we were planning on doing this, we were just going to make some <laughs> random fucking guy. <laughs> I think making Crandon is the best decision we could have made. Oh, yeah, no. It, w no Crandon, no show. <laughs> Even if no one else thinks it's funny, <laughs> we think it's funny, and hopefully Crandon thinks it's funny, too. I, I'm sure he does. Crandon in the audience, who I'm sure is watching, since I've probably told you, you're in this episode. <laughs> Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Hell yeah, especially after that performance. Like, <laughs> I'd be furious if Dominic was in my tournament. <laughs> right. God, also, I, well, I know we were talking about it at the gym the other night. Can we please direct our attention to the fucking basket of Slim Jim products behind Cody? <laughs> I forgot about that. God damn. Yeah, but Sacredo would definitely show He'd respect. He'd show respect. He, he, he understands that people came before him. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. Damn. Spirit. Good luck tonight, brother. Whoa! I'll see you Crandon and Cody Rhodes are brothers? <laughs> I didn't know he was the son of a plumber. <laughs> I mean, I've never met his dad, so... Maybe he was Dusty Rhodes. Yo, first round of the WWE Universal title Ah, oh, jeez. I got a, got a bad feeling about this conversation. Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal? I mean, we just what? flattened fucking Dominic Mysterio yeah, without well, even taking a hit. You want to know what I've done to get here? Well, and when we win this tournament. Question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. But well, listen, it's just, you just don't understand. Not all of us get the fucking Triple H NXT rub. Yeah. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. All right, so now we... You won't see me. We need to put the you can't see me on plant. Specifically for this Kevin Owens match. Do it right at the beginning. Then he hits us with his stunner. It's like, oh, no. He beats us, goes on to win the whole fucking tournament. Hell yeah, snap into a SummerSlam Slim Jim. Hell yeah, Crandon, what's your opinion on Slim Jims? Ah. He's not actually here, yeah. so he can't fucking tell us, but... He probably loves them! I bet They're he his does. favorite food! <laughs> I am, like, 99% certain that if you offered him the chance to, like... Feed every starving person in the world or eat some Slim Jims. <laughs> it's Slim Jims every day. Slim Jims, you want to sponsor the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would they need to? They're already all over our fucking show. <laughs> it's not like we can censor them out. Look, there's one right now. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. God, how much do you think the Slim Jim sponsorship fucking costs? They had to have given them so much money. Because they are everywhere. Well, it's not just the game. They've done a bunch of fucking commercials. They do ads on Raw and SmackDown. Like, they must have backed a dump truck of money up to <laughs> WWE headquarters. God. Crandon is fucking ready to go. God. Kevin he looks so Owens. good as a wrestler, too. Crandon, maybe look into, you know, quitting your day job and just going to a WWE tryout. Oh, yeah. Because apparently you've got the look for it, my guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, which should be essentially everybody, except for Crandon, this looks exactly like Crandon. <laughs> it is a one-to-one -one recreation. If yeah. Crandon saw this man in his mirror, he wouldn't know that it wasn't the real thing. <laughs> God. Well, because, like, we debated giving him, like, a super, like, super muscle guy physique, but, like, it just didn't look right. 
But like once we gave him his actual body, it's like fucking gold. That's the fucking that's the manliest physique I've ever done seen. Hell yeah. Kevin Owens main event in two WrestleManias? Apparently. Of course, it's easier to do now that there's two nights of WrestleMania every year. That's true. Then again, they always give one to the women's roster. That's true. Just so they can be like, see, women can main event WrestleMania too. <laughs> Even though it's like fucking night one half the time. Boom, baby. Ah. Oh. Foolish. <laughs> What is wrong with you? You ain't a flyer! You ain't nothing! That's like, turns out Crandon is actually trained by Samoa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> when people just do stupid shit, he just walks away. Yeah. <laughs> God. This is a great fucking match that you're gonna see the rest of next, next time, time on, on the, the Shelf, shelf Gaming! Gaming.